Hello guys and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be making a video on the entity data command. And the entity data command is basically, basically like the slash summon command. Except um, the entity data command gives a data tag to an existing mob. Whereas the summon command summons a completely new mob with a data tag. Uh, so yeah, it's basically the same thing. So look, if I just summon in a zombie, like okay. that, oops, <laughs> uh, if I summon in, why are the buttons so slow? What the heck? What is wrong with this? Okay, so if I summon a zombie, as you can see, he is burning, and he is not silent. But if I click this button right here, he is now silent, which is really cool. For some reason, I'm like, I'm lagging really bad right now. I'm like at like 20 frames. That's really bad. Uh, well, I will never mind. Okay. <coughs> so, and you can also use like no gravity. You know, I'll just get a zombie spawning. That'll be easier. Okay. So, whoa. You can also use no gravity. Well, I'll spawn okay. like up here. No gravity. And he will not have gravity. As you can see, I can push him off and he won't and he'll just keep floating oh, yeah. I'm lagging so bad right now <laughs> sorry about that guys um, <clears throat> and you can also do like custom name like custom name of Fred oh it's a little baby zombie how cute Die. <laughs> yeah but there are some downsides to this you cannot actually use the passengers uh, the passengers tag with this, which is unfortunate. Passengers, um, I see Minecraft zombie. See, it just it says it spams your chat with a bunch of random stuff and it doesn't work, so that's unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, now I'll actually teach you guys how to use this. Okay, so basically, look. Why did I get rid of the spawn eggs? So look, if you have a zombie, you slash. You think you would, you think you would think you would do just slash entity data, zom, zombie, then the data tag like silent. But no, that does not work. You actually have to instead of zombie, you have to type out a selector. You have to do that. You have to do at e type equals then the mob with with the uh, square brackets don't forget about those so yeah, and now when I do that it is now silent as you can see so yeah um and I will actually make another video on the data tags oops I'll, I'll make another uh, video on these uh, selectors not data tags um, yeah, I'll make that next, or if I want to do something else. But if you want me to do that, then uh, <laughs> be sure to leave a like on the video. Uh, yeah, that's actually kind of it. It's really simple. Oh, uh, yeah, you would just do type, and then, like, if it was a skeleton, you'd do a skeleton. Skeleton. Or if it was, like, a spider, you'd do spider. But you get what I mean. But make sure you have this, like, that. So, yeah. Uh, and that's kind of it, guys. It's really simple. Well, not simple, but it's really uh, easy. Well, not easy. It's just it's just really short, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so I hope uh, that this was helpful to you guys. And I'd really appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video and subscribe because that'd be really helpful. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And by the way, I'll leave all of these. I'll leave these three commands in the description, and you can just go into my other video to get the other data tags, like invulnerable or something, you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess see you guys.